My name is Brett Pletcher and I serve as General Counsel for Gilead Sciences. Gilead Sciences is excited to support the YWCA in Silicon Valley and the Twin Awards. Gilead is a company that develops medicines for serious diseases like HIV and viral hepatitis. Our mission is not only to develop these drugs, but to make them available to everyone equally. I want to congratulate the women being honored tonight for their tremendous personal and professional accomplishments. I want to acknowledge Lorianne Morgan and Monica Tolado, two Gilead leaders who exemplify our core values. Congratulations to all the honorees here tonight, and I want to thank the YWCA for all the great work you do every day to make our community a better place to live. My name is Gazelle. Um, I'm in eighth grade, and I go to Herbert Hoover Middle School. Tech Girls is a program um, which I go to um, that teaches us about code, and like it gives us like a segue into many other opportunities. Well, empowerment means to me like helping somebody or like aiding them so they can reach their full potential and attain their greatness or their or their goal. What does empowerment mean to you? I'm Monique Sherman. I'm pro bono counsel at Cooley, which is a Silicon Valley law firm. To me, empowerment means having the ability and the opportunity to advocate for yourself. I meet women and young people who, for whatever reason, whether it's trauma or poverty or fear, don't feel like they have the ability to change their own lives, let alone to lift other people up. And on the other side of it, when they feel like they have the power to create the lives that they want, and even to try to help other people. You know, I've had women tell me that they want to think about changing jobs so that they can help other people who've been through similar experiences. And that, to me, feels very empowering. Hi, I'm Raji Arasu. I'm SVP for Core Services and Platform Team at Intuit. I have been a product and technology leader for about 26 years of my professional life, specializing in payments, e-commerce, sports and entertainment. Empowerment to me personally has been different things in my, in my life. It has been when my parents empowered me to follow my dreams early on and I was kind of an oddball there. Empowerment for me is also about me trusting myself to take on risks and you know, also remembering to you know, celebrate those successes and every time I take a new risk. My name is Marla Burke and I'm the Senior Director of Global Sales Enablement and Lead Management for NVIDIA. I think a lot of people think of empowerment as something that is given to them by somebody else, that they look to somebody else to give them permission or authority to do something or make a decision. I look at it a bit differently. I think that regardless of your job level or title, you have to look inward first and think about what really motivates you. And it's really important to ask yourself, why not go for that bigger dream? Why not you or me or us be the people to go for it? Everything isn't perfect in life. Sometimes we're dealt a really difficult hand, but you can either let that stop you in your tracks or you can stand up, you can learn everything you can, you can support yourself and fight the fight. I'm Amy Bunzel and I'm the Vice President of Digital Engineering for Autodesk. At Autodesk, we make software for our customers in the film and game industry, the architecture, engineering, and construction industry, and in the manufacturing industries. I've been with Autodesk for 14 years. Prior to that, I was a startup founder, and Autodesk acquired my company in 2003. Empowerment to me means being able to really live your values and enable others to really make decisions and take actions based on what they really believe in and what they value. My name is uh, Dr. Amelia Shen, and I'm an R&D director at Synopsys. What I do is uh, I work on software for the electronic design automation. We write the software tools that are used to manufacture and to design and to verify all of the semiconductors that are in your phones, in your TVs, in your cameras, you know, everywhere. To me, empowerment means just enabling people to do the best that they can for themselves and also letting people feel like they have the confidence and the ability to just go out and do what they can do.